and we are back. Raw Status TV YouTube, the Raw Status TV Instagram, rawstatus.com. Drew Brees, suspected white supremacist Drew Brees. Drew Brees has apologized for his comments about kneeling. Let's be honest. If you say that kneeling is disrespectful to the flag, you are in support of black men being murdered by the police. You're either with it or you're not. Now, Drew Brees apparently is friends with Trump or is a supporter, as many people in the world of professional sports are. But this is when we start to have another discussion about kneeling and the fact that NFL players absolutely should kneel this season if they have any nuts. I say take it a little bit farther and sit down and turn your back to the flag. And this should be after Kaepernick is reinstated. There's a lot of things that have to do with money when it goes on with kneeling. I mean, a lot of players out there, they don't want any type of work stoppage or any type of boycotts. But no, there is something bigger than kneeling, and that is preserving the lives of black people. And it starts by using your leverage against their businesses, as you saw with the looting. We're not here to talk about the riots or looting, but we are here to talk about a league and a business in professional sports and the NFL. That is quite disrespectful to black people as a whole. Whether it's the racist white supremacist front ESPN or the white supremacist backing NFL or the disrespectful NBA. A lot of people may find that hard to believe because they see these athletes making a whole lot of money and they see them getting endorsements and in movies and on television shows, commercials and things of that nature, living good, feeling good. Yes, they are immortalized by the media, by the sports media, by the mainstream media. They end up in Hall of Fames. Many end up with medical conditions. But no, we're talking about the disrespect day in and day out of black athletes. It is very subtle. You see it in sports media. Being against things like kneeling, low key being in favor of police murder and police brutality. You see it in the lack of attention that's paid to white players that commit domestic violence, but yet the black players are usually ostracized and demonized and hit with a scarlet letter. The NFL and the NBA are expected not to speak on issues. Now that's not the issue that I'm here to talk about though. I'm here to talk about finally, with the climate in the country can these athletes make a power play in the NFL in particular, because the NFL is kind of billed as the all American sport as the American thing. And given, given the nature of the sport versus the NBA and the injuries that go on, the contracts are just different. The attitude is just different. The college football system is different. They push their players around. They're known to have a weak union, at least weaker than the other unions, such as MLB, NBA. But when it came to the flag kneeling, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. This is not about politics. This is not about the flag. This is about putting pressure on some of the biggest businesses in the States, in the United States, and that are NFL franchises. These people make a killing 
off of black dollars, off of black athletes, black bodies, black culture, black shoe sales, jerseys and hats. Is this the point where we say either you support our agenda in putting an end to police violence against the black people in terrorist fashion? Or we do not support you, period. Now, the reason why they went out and hired Jay-Z a few years ago is because they were losing money. Now, remember, they tried to tell us it was because people were tuning out, were not tuning in because of Colin Kaepernick. But no, it was because black people were not watching the NFL. This is why they went and got Jay-Z. And just for the record, where are all those Jay-Z's master plan type people at? I remember the Whitlocks and the Wileys and the other people in sports media talking about this was the way to do things. Well, since then, there have been several murders committed by the police. And this month alone, there have been two and one committed by a meth head and his son. Apparently, the meth head senior used to be a prosecutor. But once again, we're talking about harnessing leverage. If these billion dollar franchises, these multi hundred million dollar franchises, these cash cows, they're so locked in and buddy buddy and partnered up, booed up with the Republican Party and the number one suspected white supremacist in chief, Donald Trump. Well, then we can put some pressure on you to get your politician friends to pass some laws. And I don't just mean one. The powers of the police in this country need to be stripped. Mitigated in great fashion. We can continue this discussion, but right now as a starting point. Do you agree that every football player needs to sit down and or take a knee or not even come off the bench at all. Because what's going on is you are seeing the white supremacists get on code. Now, Drew Brees is a suspected white supremacist, as is Tom Brady. However, Drew Brees fell off code and made his white supremacist notions known. For those of you out there that are commenting, that are questioning what he said that was racist, which is usually a white supremacist pretending to be a commenter or some lost brainwashed person of a non white background. You have to read between the lines again, a classic white supremacist tactic is diversion is facade falsity lies, making things appear to be what they are not illusions. This is what the white supremacist does. So when he says people should be kneeling for the flag, he's saying it doesn't matter if these black African descended people in America are being killed by the police. All that matters is us maintaining power. But you have to ask yourself why the orange man in the white house was so up in arms with his panties in a bunch when the NFL players started kneeling because he knows how strong symbolism is. He knows that the white supremacists are vulnerable. Their corporations are vulnerable. Without their corporations, their military does not work. Like I said, we can have this discussion again at another time. I'd be happy. Neo players, give them what they want. They use the angry black man excuse to murder black men. So be that angry black man and be angry enough to make their franchises pay and make them support your cause. This is Raw Status TV, rawstatus.com, the Raw Status TV Instagram. Like, subscribe.